A party harmed by an employee's tortious conduct might want to seek damages from the employer rather than from the employee alone, taking advantage of the employer's deeper pockets. In Lisa M. v. Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital, we explore an employer's liability for such damages, looking specifically at the doctrine of respondeat superior. When pregnant 19-year-old Lisa M. fell and incurred injuries, she went to Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital for treatment. Physicians ordered technician Bruce Tripoli to perform an ultrasound. After the initial scan, Tripoli offered to determine the sex of Lisa's baby, convincing her that he would need to scan further down her body. Under the guise of performing that task, he sexually molested Lisa with his fingers and the ultrasound wand. After Lisa subsequently realized that Tripoli's conduct wasn't legitimate, Tripoli pled guilty to a criminal charge of molestation. Lisa then filed a civil tort against Tripoli, the hospital, and others, seeking damages for negligence, battery, and infliction of emotional harm. The hospital moved for summary judgment, denying any liability. In response, Lisa argued, among other things, that as Tripoli's employer, the hospital was vicariously liable for Tripoli's batter under the doctrine of respondeat superior. The Superior Court rejected that argument and granted summary judgment in the hospital's favor. The State Appeals Court reversed, finding respondeat superior applicable. The hospital appealed to the California Supreme Court.